ideas and concepts. There's a belief within the basketball community, specifically the high school, AAU, travel ball community, that high school basketball is dying a slow death, slow painful death because of financial reasons. It's like most or lots of extracurricular activities in a lot of schools. It's all about the money. But speaking of specifically of basketball, because there is an additional outlet, the AAU scene, which generates money and which the majority of kids who are really serious about playing basketball, especially those who are talented, usually are involved with, I guess most, the ability to travel around and be seen and be recognized and some of the, the big major ones who get media coverage by big media outlets. <clears throat> that I will go to predominantly AAU ball. And that's where most of the focus will be by basketball athletes. There's another significant problem within basketball in general and funny that applies to high school and of course the amateurs and that is facility availability and usage a gym gym usage is prime real estate prime real estate it's very hard to get What I see is basically building, well, literally building gyms specifically for use. And for me and mine, I have in my own AAU team, Cali Blues, and building my own gym. Its own gym, and AU team, AU teams with their own gyms, financed by the fact that there are so many organizations who are looking for gym time, rec league, and AU things of that nature. They want gym time, so there's demand for gym time. So if you are a team that has your own team and your own gym that can be rented out to other teams for use and you have like your own gym like Staples Center your own gym just small just like a like you find a high school gym like three courts your own gym your home court able to bring teams to your home court to put up the pictures of the alumni who came through who went on to go to college possibly playing the pros in your own gym with the championships with your banners in your own gym Then I have an idea for motorcycle rider protection. And I was thinking generally it is held, I still thought of trying to put balloons, like balloons, airbags on motorcycle riders just like you have in a car. But instead of having airbags, I was envisioning arms. 
if you will. Arms that whip out and prevent you from hitting the ground or something else hitting you, a car. And explosion of arms. High impact taking, impact ability, this plastic arms, this little I don't know what would be a minimal amount, what would be the idea about what would be the true point of having that arms. Covers your legs, your body, your head, and you're just within the, the inside arms. Just expand out. I'm trying to think of another word, just arms, but exposure to arms.